Hello, welcome back to the Ball Games 4K YouTube channel, and this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings, and we generally talk a load of bollocks about tabletop gaming in general. And in this video, we're going to be talking about an old, sort of what they call it, a mirror trash, don't they? They call it a mirror trash game. It's Police Precinct the city you'll be looking for the murderer and you'll be trying to solve crimes along the way in this video we'll be giving you a very brief overview of the rules we'll be telling you what we do like what we don't like and then we will come back and we will tell you whether or not we think the police precinct is still worth playing today and in the future so if you're new here please consider subscribing to this channel leave a comment in the section down below and we'll see you after this. Board games 4K. So, Police Precinct, how do you play this game? So there's four phases to this game. First of all, you're gonna move your car around the map. Second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna perform one of the variety of actions you'll be drawing a police card and then you will draw an event card so moving your car is very very simple what you will do you you can move up to two spaces on the board and if you're in a marked car then you can move one extra space it's that simple so the second phase of this game is taking actions and you will be able to perform one of the following actions during your turn so the first action you can take is you can investigate so when you investigate, you'll be going to a specific location that's on the board with investigation cards, you know, but you'll be looking for evidence that will incriminate the murderer. So you'll be drawing a number of cards from this deck based on certain criteria, like whether or not you're driving in an unmarked car. You'll be drawing extra cards for every police car that's in the same street. You can spend donuts, which is a sort of a currency in the game, to draw extra cards. And also other players can play their police cards with an investigation symbol on it. So you'll be drawing these cards, looking for evidence you'll be placing on the murder investigation board. So the second action that you can take is you can make arrests. And throughout the game, you'll be on certain street corners, there'll be sort of street punks that will sort of be hanging about on street corners. And if you allow the street punks to get out of control, then they form street gangs and that can be a real problem. So one of the main actions that you can take in this game is going to arrest street punks. And when you do that, you'll be rolling dice to make a basic arrest and just as it, as you did in the investigation action you'll be adding dice to your pool based on certain criteria like get plus one die for every patrol officer that you discarded from the bad hood you'll get plus one for every police car in the same street and you can also spend donuts to add a die to your pool and with this action the target number that you're looking for is the number of street punks that are present in the space so that's another action you can take and you need to keep the street punks under control so the next action that you can do is you can handle an emergency and throughout the game you'll be revealing events and they will make appearances on the board in certain ways and again you'll be looking to build a dice pool to handle emergencies again for every police car present in the same street you can spend donuts to do this and what you'll be doing you'll be rolling your pool of dice and you'll be looking at the target number on the emergency and if you roll at least one success you will remove that emergency card and you will take the benefit associated with it and there's also things like uh, unknown circumstances that can add to the suspense of this action so if uh, an emergency car's got an unknown circumstance you'll flip that and it will tell you uh, it will add certain things to the, the situation. So the next thing that you can do is you can upgrade your character and everybody's got a police character with certain abilities and certain bonuses, right? And what you'll do, you'll go to the police station and then you'll be able to buy two different upgrade tokens for the price of one donut each. And who said that cops at donuts all the time right so the next thing you can do is you can you can draw an extra police card if you want to and uh, all you do is you'll take a police card from the deck and you'll put it in your pool and police cards give you special bonuses that allow you to add your services to other players actions or maybe boost your own abilities when handling a specific objective so there's also a couple of actions that are available to you if you're playing with the dirty cop variant but we're not going to go into that you can Look at that yourself, you dirty cop. So once you've taken an action, then what you'll do, you will draw one police card and put it into your hand. And remember, you've only got a hand limit of seven police cards, right? And then what you'll do, you will draw an emergency card and place it on the board. And there's certain restrictions as to what you can place and where based on whether or not there's a certain same color of police cards in the same same location or same area. And uh, once you've done that, you'll rinse, wash, repeat. What you've got, you've got a 
calendar track and the murderer once he gets to number 16 then you will transfer his token onto the map and he'll be working his way around all the different hoods until he gets to hood number six and then he will escape so you need to try and find all the evidence to try and ensnare the murderer before he escapes on round 22. One way you can lose a game is by if the city crime marker gets to the end of the city crime track then you will lose a game and what you'll be doing you'll be advancing the city crime marker one space if an urgent marker is removed from an emergency before you get to deal with it if the pool of street punks runs out when you need to place them on a hood if a street gang card is required to be put in use and yet none are available and if the event card runs out and you have to shuffle the discard pile back so what do we like about police precinct so the first thing that we really enjoy about this is that it's so thematic and the board looks really nice. It's got the, the second edition has really ramped up the aesthetic beauty of this game. And what we've done, rather than use the two-dimensional police cars that are in this game, what we've done, we swapped them out and we've put some little um, matchbox toys in there to really get a feel of, or really add to the feel of moving a police car around a city. And it really does add a really good 3D element to this wonderfully thematic game so the second thing that we really like about it is the really really fluid cooperative nature of this one and in a lot of cooperative games you're sort of playing a solo game but other players are playing with you and you've got the same objective but with this one if you're trying to take control of an objective and trying to solve an objective whether it be dealing with street punks or whether you're trying to investigate other players can use their police cards to assist you when they need it and that's a really good choice because they're coming from your hand and you don't know whether or not you might need those police cards when it's your turn so do you try and solve an emergency to get those bonuses for yourself or do you keep those back for when you go and investigate in your next turn so yeah there's a it's, it's a very simple yet agonizing choice and it's a really good cooperative game so the third thing that we really like about this is the there's loads and loads of really small expansions for this one that add that add to the already really thematic nature of this game you've got the lion politicians mini expansion you've got the the crooked lawyers expansion and it really does sort of make it feel like it's like a 70s sort of cop show you know that's, that's what sort of broadcast when you're a kid yeah the, the expansions really do ramp this up they're not essential but they're really really good and it's, it's really nice that they took the time out to support this game after its initial release so the fourth thing and the final thing we're going to talk about that we really like about this is the way that you can upgrade your character when you see fit and it's it's very difficult to do this because you've got so many fires you'll be putting out throughout the city the need to upgrade your character may take over the the need to deal with emergencies so you've got you've got all these things going on you've got the street punks you've got the emergencies you've got to deal with you've also got to worry about the murderer as well which is paramount you know so you're juggling all these things together and upgrading your character is sort of like a nice addition that will really help you to achieve all those goals so what don't we like about police precinct so the first thing that we find very frustrating about police precinct is it's very very difficult to take take care of all these different emergencies that are coming out and if you take your eye off the ball for one moment then things spiral out of control very quickly and when they do it's very difficult to get things back on track so there's it's, it's, it's really frustrating the fact that this game runs away from you so quickly the random card draws don't fall kindly so you know if you're getting sort of low level emergencies coming out all the time you're going to find it very much easier than if you get a quite a few quite a few high level emergencies coming out so so the game runs away from you very very quickly so the second thing that we find really frustrating is the game doesn't scale particularly well depending on how many players so this game plays up to was it six players is it i think this plays up to six players so it doesn't really matter whether you're playing with two players or six players it's going to be it doesn't scale very well and at the back of the book it gives you these sort of hints on how to adjust difficulty and it's down to you to adjust the difficulty yourself so if you find a game too easy then you sort of well, do you put this there's no real sort of official way of dealing with the the difficulty level or the you know the, depending on, on the skill or, or the experience of the player so yeah it's a bit feeble in that sense so yeah just be prepared if you if you don't find the right difficulty immediately the game doesn't really sort of it just gives you hints on how to adjust it so the third thing that we find not great about this game is that you'll 
with regards to the investigations, you're not really investigating anything. All you're doing is you're just pulling cards out of a deck, you know, based on how many cops you've got and and the targets that you're looking for. So, you know, if you if you go and try and try and find a specific piece of evidence, all the evidence is is a card that's buried in a deck. So you're not actually working anything out. There's no puzzles to solve. There's no real skill here. So it's just a random. Oh, was I successful? Was I successful? And if the cards at the bottom of the deck then you're stuffed, didn't you? You're never gonna get there in time. So the fact that there's no real skill to the investigations is uh, left us feeling a little bit cold. So to summarize, is Police Precinct still worth playing in 2019? So this game, it's a, we'll split with this one. On the one hand, this game is fantastic because it is so thematic and it is so simple and so easy to play. We love the fact that you can run around the city you know, arresting, you can try and stop the murderer from escaping and the fact it's on a timer means the game is really tense right up to the last minute. It's a case of theme over substance and this game lacks any kind of strategy. It's just a case of just playing the game, seeing what happens and then worrying about it later. So there's no, it's not strategic in any shape or form and that's, that's a real downer. I think that's the main thing is, is that the investigations were just nothing. They're just pulling cards out of a deck. I think we can forgive that because the theme in this one is so strong. So is it worth playing today? I don't know, the second edition looks really nice. I've done it. We're gonna say it's, it's a three star game. I think, you know, it's, it's an average game that lifts itself with the way it looks. I think that's, that's what we're trying to say. It looks great, but it's an average, average mirror trash game right so there you go that's police precinct we're talking about the second edition you may have the first edition or whatever edition like we said if you're new here then please consider subscribing to our channel for more board game bollocks and we'll see you in the next video